guys, sorry that TV. Welcome back to another episode of Mountain Spring Fishing. Bum bum bum. Dun dun. Okay. I actually don't want to check all the way through that. Today. I'm almost there, but going spot on the river. Yep, and I'm here. It used to be a campground, but now there isn't much of one. Um. Wow, this place has changed a lot. Wow, um, so yeah, I'm gonna cross that and get to the other side. It changed a lot. Last time I was here, that tree wasn't there. And that was um, all, that was a really deep puddle. Now it's just sort of a shallow wide creek. Um, this whole island, little island I guess, it's a whole big island. Was it all vegetated? Oh, that looks like a juicy hole. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get to that sandy beach. We're gonna try to fish. I'm gonna be showing you. Um, so I have this option of a hole. I have sort of, well, this is sort of like just one big hole right through there. Um, there's a hole, right? And I have that hole. And there's a one or two few more good ones upstream ways. So yeah. Um, so what's happening is the main current is coming right through here. It's hitting those rocks and it's bouncing back really slowly. So um, right now I just sort of have on a dry fly. Uh, this is a normal pull. So what I do is I just, uh, so I can actually cast it. I put a little lead weight. So. Maybe not the most effective thing ever, but hey, it works. So I can't complain. Okay guys, so I was just looking over here. I'm gonna see if I can get you guys a view. There are some giant crayfish. I'm pretty sure they're dead though. It might just be their exoskeletons. I'm seeing. I'm not entirely sure. But There's one. Um, I don't know where you guys live, but um, for around here, and especially since I'm so high up in the mountains, that's a pretty big one. Man, yeah, this river's changed a lot. I'm gonna go exploring. So if you guys can see, sort of like a giant moss clump right all along in there. Would be great fishing. Right all along this. Probably want to tie on my rooster tail actually here soon. Quit messing around. Um, over there seems like a decentish hole. I mean, you know, and then this bend right here. There looks like 
This looks like some ex fishing extraordinaire. That is so deep right there, guys. I'm telling you, it is between all these uh, holes that I've shown you, it is impossible for there not to be a fish in one of them. So I want to actually tie on my rooster tail. So I'm gonna do that. I'll let you guys know when I, once I've done that. Okay, guys, I am cast it right onto a tree, so I'm gonna get the sun stack in. I'll get back to you soon. <gasps> I just had it show me. It looked like a, a rainbow trout on. Oh my gosh, that thing was giant. First cast. Um, I'm using the Rebel Cricket. I usually use it for bass. Okay, I think we're um, me and my dad have fed crickets to these fish before. You know, it's been a good, good experience, so. Dude, why not, right? Oh, guys. Um, he was almost, uh, he's just giant. So I just have like a rebel cricket on. <gasps> oh guys. That boy was a beauty. I wish I could have landed him so bad. I was just like right out on this sandbank right here. And all of a sudden just wham. Just wham. Oh guys, that fish was a big boy. He was a big Boy. I guess you guys know I've got the rebel cricket on. Um, a lot of people use this as a press lure. I think I've already actually said this. I'll say it again. Um, but I really like to use it uh, for these trout because I don't know if you can hear them. Sorry. That might be squirrels, but um. There's lots of squirrels here too. Well, chipmunks, sorry. Squirrels and chipmunks. Um, but that's their m main food source. Like, usually when I walk by here, um, like, you're walking, and, like, on an island or something, like, on this beach, you walk and hundreds of crickets will just, like, jump into the water trying to get away from you, but realizing but that... Probably worse of fate than being close to me. Um, so yeah, I'll give him that whole little break. Um, I really need to get hooked up with that fish again. He was, I don't know what to say, monster. This is the proper term, I believe. He was a legit just monster. So yeah. Um, here I'm going out in the sandbar. Do you have 
to be semi careful because there are a few things that um would be a little bit more than happy to bite your toes. Right, guys. I have a feeling that we are gonna catch a big boy. in the drop zone. Do a little bit of action. Pop the reel. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna cast in and see what I can catch. Okay guys, well, um, the fishing slowed down, and I want a ham sandwich, and... Yeah. Oh, guys, I cannot tell you how big and cool that fish was. So sorry I didn't get that on camera. So sorry, like... I thought about putting the pole down, but it just would have gotten dragged in, so... Sorry about that, and... Um, I guess I'll see you in a few hours. Or maybe a few minutes. I don't know how long I can wait.